So I have this electric smoker right here. It's a master built. And the issue I'm having with this master built, it's uh it's broken and every time when I plug in the power, it will trip the circuit. So something is short circuit in this smoker. I know what the issue is. I will go over that. Basically it's changing the heat element and I'll show you how to do that. At the end of the video I'll also show you how to take apart the back and uh, get to all the wires and so forth just in case if your scenario isn't the uh, heat element, heating element. So let's start by uh, changing the heat element first. So first let's take out the six screws at the back. So after you remove the panel, um, there are two leads right here. Now you will have to probably use some uh, a razor blade and cut off the heat shrink. So I already cut off the heat shrink already and all you need to do is just unplug it. One, two, alright, these two are unplugged. So this is where the heat element is. Now this middle screw right here I already loosened up on the other side, but this screw right here is for the ground. So again, you just loosen it up with a screwdriver and I haven't done these two yet but these two right here are the screws that go to the heat that secures the heat element now we can pull the heat element out alright so now we're in the inside of the smoker um, in order to get to the heat element down here you need to there are two screws right here and two screws underneath right here to secure this uh, smoke tray. Now yours might have four screws up here depending on the year of the model but either way you need just need to remove it and after you remove it now you can get to the heat element and all you do is you just pick it up and slide it out. Oh and one thing real quick where that middle screw ties there is this ground wire this blue wire in the middle that's the ground wire that uh, is hooked on to the old heat element. Okay, so here's the old heat element and here's a new one. Now, the old heat element model number is, I don't know if you can see it, and the new heat element from Masterbuilt is uh, slightly different. The number is slightly different. Um, but they're both 800 watts. Let me show you what, why this is a uh, short circuit. Why does it uh, pop the breaker every time I uh, plug in the electric wire. So both of these, um, let me show you this real quick. So this is, here's my multimeter set at ohms and if I take the measurement on my old one it shows 18 ohms. Now if your heater is not heating up, if your smoker is not heating up then this would be an, an open or a, a lot bigger resistance. So in, instead of 18 ohms, you might see 100 ohms, or you might just see an open circuit, like just infinity ohms. All right, so let's look at this new one. Exactly the same resistance, 18.1, and right here is 18. Now, um, interestingly enough, if I actually remove the uh, ground wire from here, it um it actually works so actually I can get this to work by removing the blue ground wire that I showed earlier because if what I found out is one of these leads to the surface there's actually a resistance of about 9k ohms if you measure the new one there is no resistance it's it's an an open so there shouldn't be any conductivity between the heating element and the two leads and that's why it short circuits whenever I try to plug it in. So here we go, here's the new element and we're going to put the gasket on here. After we get the gasket on there, position the ground wire. Now just uh, at an angle put the heating element through. From the back let's just screw in the heating element.
we don't want to tighten it up yet. We just want to roughly screw it in. All right. So there we go. Now let's focus on the ground wire in the middle. Um, it might have moved its position by now. Uh, all you do is just take your screwdriver or something smaller just to reposition it so the holes align. After it's aligned, now we can put the screw through. I'm going to put the Phillips on the other end. Alright, so my son's helping me on the other side holding the screw in while I put the nuts and washer on. Alright, good job. Okay, after I have that tightened down, now the instructions ask us to put in these new uh, wires right here. Basically, you just strip it, then use the electric uh, nut right here and you tie the wires together, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to use these old ones. Um, and since I'm using these old ones, I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, insulated rubber gasket, I mean rubber housing back in. Alright, when I have that in, then I'm just going to reconnect these wires to the heating element. Technically, there is no orientation. I could have these two wires reversed, it's fine. Now, let's just put this back together. So now I have the elements uh, reinstalled. Check real quick to make sure that everything works. As you can see, it comes on. Now let's just go ahead and set time and see it come up. All right, so heating at 100, and let's see if the heating element climbs in temperature. Oh yeah, definitely feel the heat. Go ahead and turn it off. All right, so there you go, that's how you fix it. So next step is to just to put back all of these, rest of the stuff right here, not a big deal, and um, and the next part of this video, I'm going to show how to take apart the rest of the stuff, how to take apart the back panel, and so forth. So right here, I have the master built on its side. Um, I basically removed the back panel, as you see, on the ground. The way how I did it is I took a drill and removed all the rivets. You just drew out the rivets as shown in this video right here. After the rivet, rivets are removed, you can then remove the panel. And right here you can see the control on the ground and the white wire extending from one end to the other and down the center. The temperature sensor on the bottom and the over temperature at the top at the very back right here is on the bottom is the relay control box where the power supply right here shows the digital control panel uh, temperature sensor where it connects to the relay board underneath the smoker and you can see that the over temp limit switch along with the heat element are all connected together through the black wire. This photo right here shows where the temperature sensor and the over temp limit switch finally right here is the screws that I use to reattach the back panel. And I use rivets to close back up the bottom plate.